The whole music producer community is mad at Futuristic for putting out this video. Producer, there's no way I'm giving you 50% of my record. You are out of your mind, and here's why. You're not spending money to promote the song. Not spending money to market it. Not spending money to shoot a music video. You didn't spend money on studio time. And unless you have a big name, your name is not bigger than mine. So there is absolutely no way that I'm splitting this record with you 50-50 when I'm doing all the work to promote it and make sure people hear it. What I believe is appropriate for producers, depending on how much work they did, is anywhere between 10 and 20%. Producers, if you disagree, go ahead and let me know why. But first, think about it and get out your feelings. That's a really bold claim right there. But does he have a point? LMT Productions. As a music producer, I was initially put off when I saw this video. But I also care about artists' opinions and I want to make sure that both artists and producers are being treated fairly. Also, I do like Futuristic and a lot of the content that Indie Amplify puts out and I do rock with a lot of their content. The main problem that I have with Futuristic's video is that he didn't specify which royalties he's referring to. Because there's more than one royalty. He could have been referring to either the master royalties, he could have been referring to the publishing. He didn't make that really clear. He later made a video where he did clarify that he was referring to the master royalties, which we don't know, those are the royalties that your distributor, such as DistroKid or Two Core pays you for your Spotify streams. And in a separate video, he also clarified that he actually pays producers 10% to 20% of the master royalties on top of the producer fee that he pays them, which isn't typical of independent artists. And then from there, he does give the producer 50% of the publishing, which is standard. What's usually more typical, especially if you either lease beats or sell exclusive beats off of your website, is you get the upfront fee, which is what someone will pay to lease your beat. And you are entitled to a percentage of the publishing, but you don't always get points on the master. So props to Futuristic for not only compensating his producers, but also giving them equity in his music. With that being said, he should have been more specific on which royalties he was referring to in his original video. Now, as much as you don't want to hear this, Futuristic did make some good points in his video. There are certain situations where it wouldn't make sense to give the producer 50% of the master royalties. Artists have to pay several people in order to create their product, anywhere from studio time, to mixing and mastering, graphic designers, marketers, influencers. And then on top of that, the producer wants to get paid a fee in addition to receiving a huge amount of royalties from the record, even though they're not the ones who are paying for all those other expenses. That's not typical of other industries where the price of goods actually costs more than what you're selling the product for. So if a Producers in a situation where they're working with an artist who is investing into their career the way they should be, they should at least be open to negotiation on what percentages of the song they get, especially in terms of the master royalties. And while it is true that producers do spend a lot of money on things to improve their crap, such as plugins, microphones, and courses on how to improve their production, that doesn't have a direct effect on how well an artist's song streams. So with that being said, those specific factors shouldn't contribute to how much you either charge for your producer fee or your royalties. Now, if you're in a situation where both the artist and the producer are literally starting at square one, or both of you are splitting the cost of expenses, and if both of you two are marketing the music, then splitting it 50-50 might be a lot more fair. The main thing I want you to take away from this video is to be open-minded and to be open to negotiation. You're not going to have the exact same deal with every artist you work with. Some will just lease a beat from you for 20 bucks, and then some will pay you $500 for an exclusive. Some artists may give you points on the master in addition to paying your producer fee. Some may just pay the producer fee and then you only get the publishing. No matter what the deal is, you need to make sure that you're talking to artists, you need to make sure that you're negotiating with them, and you need to make sure that everyone's on the same page. Another important thing on top of that is to educate yourself on how royalties actually work. Because I bet a good amount of those producers who saw that video don't even know the difference between a master royalty, what publishing is, or even know what their IPI number is. So while Futuristic definitely should have made it a lot more clear about which royalties he was referring to, he does make some good points that music producers should at least consider even if they don't agree with them. Thank you for watching this video. If you like me seen today, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications so you know whenever I upload new videos. Also, if you're a music producer and if you need more hands-on help on understanding things such as how to collect your royalties, how to use Logic Pro, feedback on your beats, or anything that's related to music production, I offer one of one consultations through my website, LMRK Productions, and you can find the link to book a session in the description of this video. And now go down in the comment section below and let me know what percentage of both the master royalties and the publishing does the producer deserve. And if you'd like to learn more about how to collect all the royalties that your music generates, click either of the following videos.